U.S. soldier Frank Dukes has come to Hong Kong to be accepted into the Kumite, a highly secret and extremely violent martial arts competition. While trying to gain access into the underworld world of fighters, he also has to avoid military officers who consider him to be AWOL. After enduring a difficult training session and beginning a romance with journalist Janice Kent, Frank is given the opportunity to fight. But can he survive? Oh yes, we're talking about blood sport. Uh, basically, JCVD's or Jean-Claude Van Damme's breakout role, I think. You know, he's had, uh, you know, he did have some roles before this, but this is really the the film that sort of uh, launched him into uh, into the caliber of uh, action star that he became. Um, and uh, <coughs> excuse me getting over a bit of a cold right now, so I apologize if my voice is raspy, or if I cough, or clear my voice here and there. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'm doing a lot of Jean-Claude Van Damme videos, and I'm sorry I'm not stopping. I do plan on mixing more horror movies into it very soon, um, but I've just uh, found a real, real enjoyment out of this genre as well. You know, I did have touches of this as I grew up. Um, and I've just kind of rediscovered it, and I'm loving it, so, <laughs> um, but, <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, Bloodsport, um, it's, it's one I actually revisited, I have seen it before, uh, just not in some time, like quite a few other Van Damme movies I still want to get to on my channel while I'll be rewatching. um, but Bloodsport, I think, is, like, the quintessential or, like, standard, uh, I don't know if I want to say standard, but, like, the, uh, a good bar for a Van Damme movie, I think. Um, it, it's or maybe it's just Van Damme at his purest, I'd say. Um, you know, it's straightforward. There's no like a, uh, you know, big shootouts. There's no guns, you know, pulled or you know, big, uh, you know, violent, you know, back and forth mass fights or anything like that. Um, it's really just down to this tournament that you know supposedly took place and stuff like that, which we'll talk about in a minute. Um, <clears throat> and so I appreciated the the basis of that because it is allowed to have Van Damme, you know, be Van Damme. And Van Damme is good here, you know. Um, you know, people don't really talk about his acting enough, and I think it certainly has improved over the years, especially since uh, the 80s. Um, but I think he's good here, you know. He feels competent. He feels like uh, he gives the guy a heart. I feel like he has a bit of charm to him, especially when he meets that uh, reporter character, Janice. Um, played by Leah Race, um, who is pretty good in the movie as well. But yeah, I think Van Damme especially was good here. Um, you know, he has charm when he wants to have a little bit of charm. I think it actually worked a little bit here more than some of his other later ones. I, I don't know. Um, but I think he really found success here, and uh, again, just the premise of it, and just allowing him to excel at what he is, uh, what he is best at. Um, and, and you know, as far as the romance, you know, it is a. I don't know if I. I don't, I don't think it's forced. You know, it all kind of flows pretty naturally. Yeah, maybe it happens a little bit fast, but it's not a long movie either. So it kind of is what it is on that end with the, regards to time with certain things. Um, but I thought they had a, you know, a decent chemistry with each other for what it was. And then I also have to talk about Donald Gibb as uh, Ray Jackson, who becomes uh, Jean Claude or Frank Frank's friend in the movie. Um, sort of, uh, you know, he's not necessarily a, you know, typically skilled fighter that you'll see in this movie. He's a bit more of like a brawler, like a, a big American biker guy and stuff like that. But arguably, he, he's in maybe my favorite scene of the whole movie. I, I don't know. <laughs> um, it's when uh, him and Frank first meet um, at the building or, you know, at the hotel and everything like that. Um, and, uh, you know, Frank ends up meeting him on the, uh, the arcade fighting game. And just sort of his admiration for this, for Frank, you know, seeing him as just a kid that comes in. Um, I like how that happens, so I really like their friendship in the movie. Um, and, you know, it definitely has some Rocky vibes to it, but, uh, you know, more kicks involved and uh, uh, many more splits and such. <laughs> um, so it is different on that end as well. And, uh, yeah, it does have a, you know, cheese factor to it. It is, you know, campy, if you want to say that. Um, and I will admit some of the dialogue is a bit is a bit off, especially like in the first uh, like twenty minutes or so. Um, it, it was kind of noticeable for me. I, I don't know, um, but I gotta say I really enjoyed watching Bloodsport again. I think it's uh, very good, if not great, if you're a fan of Van Damme. 
um, this is a really good uh, really good starting point for anyone for the genre I think you, you might want to show anyone or you might want to show like a casual like passerby type of fan uh, you know more maybe a typical action heavy movie that he did um, but this is uh, again Van Damme as Pierce Van Damme as uh, as you should see him in a certain sense I guess you know he has skill you buy into it in this movie they also do inject a little bit of emotional weight into this movie when uh, Chun Li meets uh, Jackson, and uh, you know there's again some of a bit of a rocky type of thing with the with how things uh, play out there. Um, maybe not to as great of an extent because uh, of the true outcome of the movie, um, but I actually thought I thought it worked, and I you know I liked how uh, Jackson and Frank's uh, friendship carried on through that. And it definitely added more more meaning to uh, Frank's final fight with Chun Li there. And it's funny because Van Dam and the actor who played Chun Li actually became friends after this, so so that's uh, that's a bit ironic for you. And as far as the we'll we'll talk about Frank Dukes in a in a minute here. Um, but as far as the fights in this movie, uh, I also got to say are pretty, are uh, pretty well choreographed. So the choreography is pretty good. Um, I'm editing Van Damme actually had to take a step into uh, so he wasn't actually going to be made at one point or at least released um, for various reasons but Van Damme stepped in and actually uh, did at least some of the edit editing which is pretty cool you know which he uh, puts more of a hand into in some, some of his lighter films for uh, both good and uh, bad reasons perhaps but <coughs> now as far as uh in the movie overall, I, I really do like it. Um, but like, you know, Frank Dukes, Ducks, however you want to say it. <laughs> um, you know, it says it's based off a real guy. And now there is a real guy with that name. Um, but as it was found out, a lot, of his, uh, a lot of his accounts of what happened with this tournament in real life were never uh, backed up. And there's a lot of uh, lies sort of uncovered about it, a lot of exaggerations. Stuff like that, which kind of takes away from it a bit, but luckily, uh, Van Damme looks nothing like the guy, and you can just enjoy the movie for what it is. A good, a damn good Van Damme movie, and uh, really one of the bestest pure fight movies you'll ever see, in my opinion. Um, so, yeah, I uh, apologize, this review wasn't what it should be. I'm just, again, kind of trying to get through a cold right now, and, and it's still trying to pull me down. <laughs> so, it is what it is. But overall, I really enjoyed watching Bloodsport again. And I'm giving about a B plus or an A minus around an 88 or maybe 90 percent. Gotta think on it more. Um, I should control myself a little bit there, um, but I did really like it. And let me know the guest thought about Bloodsport. How does it compare to the other ones for you? And uh, yeah, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Like, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.